Hi, my name is Jay King. I am the president and CEO of the California Black Chamber. It's hard to even say how detrimental the coronavirus is going to be to the African-American small business men and women because they're already at a critical point economically. The African-American small business men and women is probably the weakest economic engine in the country due to a myriad of, of things from racism and bigotry and slavery, segregation, and of course, discriminatory banking practices. Why are we doing this? Why would we do this when you have all these other agencies and you have the stimulus package and other folk out there doing it? It's because our businesses are always the ones that get left behind, the guys that are late to the party, the men and women who didn't know and that were afraid to do it because they thought they wouldn't qualify. It's for those folk. There are no qualifications here other than the fact that you haven't received any significant help from anyone else. We want to make sure that we help ordinary people with ordinary business who are doing great work in the community. With the California Black Chamber, it's our job to oversee statewide through all of our chamber partners and our community-based organizations that you are looked out for. The reason why our African-American business is need the help of its own community, let alone everyone else, is because of the disadvantages at the very core of its beginning. When you look at what's happened in this country to the African-American businessman and woman, even when we were segregated, African-American businesses, as they started to grow, were destroyed by the very agencies and government that was supposed to protect it. So today, we're seeing how weak black businesses are when it comes to being able to withstand economic disruption like what we're witnessing today with the coronavirus pandemic. That's why we have to help them. That's why I have to help them. Not just as the president of the California Black Chamber, but as a black man in the community who's had a certain measure of success. When I look at what we spend, $96 billion a year in California, 2.3 million African-Americans. I say, hey, you guys, let's all pitch in at least $5 out of our pocket. If 2.3 million of us pull out $5 and pitch in, we'll have over $11 million for our African-American small business men and women. So that's what I'm asking. I'm asking for us to pitch in. I'm pitching in. I'm giving $1,000 to start the fund off. I have friends that are going to pitch in $500, $100. So we're going to start the fund off, but we need everybody to pitch in. I'm going to pitch in. I'm going to ask you to pitch in, and I'm asking everybody, you know, to not, not just pitch in, but to share this. And, and let our black businesses know that we love them, and, and we support them, and we want them to be in business. If our small black businesses don't make it, our economy don't make it. 95% of African-American small businesses only have one employee. And that's the employee that owns the business. So help us. Support us. Help me. Help us support African-American small business men and women. Pitch in.